Hello and welcome to Alliance War Season 49, Episode 8. So we did drop that Water Legion, the 11 deaths is just never going to cut out against them, so we definitely want to finish with better deaths than that. It's currently 7th in Platinum 1 with a record of 3 and 4. Uh, but we still can finish Masters 5, however this war will be very critical in terms of getting there. And uh, we've got 6 fights in today's war. And our opponent is DD13, so they did finish Masters last season. They currently sit pretty much with us in Platinum 1. And they've banned Apocalypse, Sunspot and Domino. Our team today is our 7 star rank 2 Dust, our 7 star rank 2 Ant-Man, and our 6 star rank 6 Nick Fury. So obviously Nick Fury can boost uh, the attacks of his, of his other champions, but he also has a synergy with Ant-Man. That will give us the evade charges, we're not really going to need this too much, but it's a nice backup. And obviously Dust is next Magicka champion, so she'll get those prowesses to stack on top of her own prowesses, and also reduce uh, the opponent's purifiability accuracy. We are going to be running recoil masteries for the whole war because dust is very recoil friendly and we will be switching it up for the boss that we will be taking today. So the first fight we have here, we're on path 2, we're taking this Doctor Doom, we're using Ant-Man, so Ant-Man's a great matchup for Doctor Doom because he can just uh, melt him down with poisons, uh, which can bypass a lot of his crit resistance and stuff. So we're going to start here by just getting to a special 1. Uh, we're completely immune to buffs, so we don't have to worry about the placebo node. In fact, the placebo node will actually help us because when we go immune to a buff, we get pin particles, and so those will help our damage on our special two. And we can also throw some power stings if we want with our heavy attack. So we throw the special one here. This won't uh, turn off his aura because uh, it's not a petrifier or a slow. He will have his fatigues, um, so we're not going to turn off his aura, but we can still uh, the aura really does nothing to us because we were completely buff immune. So we get Intercept there to refresh the fatigues, we can either refresh it by intercepting or punishing its heavy attack. So it uh, gets some intercepts in there, that keeps the fatigues nice and refreshed. So we are at 4 now, we can we could have stacked more fatigues but I've decided to go for a special 2. Just the one special 2 here, we also get some power sings from our Ant-Man Relic. And so that's a decent amount of damage for 4 poison, 2400 a tick. Obviously we are boosted extremely high because we are taking a boss today. So unfortunately we hit the end of that special one, but it was a pretty clean fight apart from that. So next up we have a Black Widow Deadly Origin, so I didn't even realise she was a tech defender, but apparently she is. So yeah, we're fighting rank 6 Deadly Origins here, this is just a nothing fight for Dust. She's completely shock immune, so even if we do get hit, it's basically going to do no damage to us. Because um, we're completely immune to shock, of course. And we're happy to bait really any special, obviously we want to push to the special 2 ideally, because uh, she doesn't get her evade charge from that. So we get that out of her. And then we're just going to heavy into a special 2 here, we don't need to get to a special 3 for this fight. This fight can just be over from 1 special 2. And it does. So we're on path 9 now, so this is a pretty common uh, path for me now that I have Dust ranked up. Because Dust is obviously the bleed and shock community. We're using Ant-Man for this fight, because it's a Wong, so because, because it's a Mystic we want to use someone. Ideally that has uh, some resistance to buffs and Ant-Man is, of course, completely buff immune. So we could have maybe used Dust, but yeah, Ant-Man is definitely much safer. So we, uh, we, we're we completely immune to shock with Ant-Man, we're not immune to bleed at all. Uh, so that's why I'm running combat regen, so we can uh, mitigate so that double edge damage. And we're not going to hit him at all in the bleed phase. So we are actually going to get trapped in the corner a bit here. There is power focus 2 as well, I'm not great at dexing a special 2, so I'm trying to get mostly him to just throw special 1s. And so we stack up some fatigues here with a special one. He, get, he, he is throwing a special ones quite diligently, which is good. And I need to refresh these uh, fatigues here. He's not throwing heavy attacks, no, unfortunately, but it's hard, a bit hard to intercept him on the wall. And he throws a heavy attack when he's unstoppable. So we have to get another heavy attack out of him now that the unstoppable is on cooldown. He does finally throw that, so we, we punish that, refresh the fatigues. He is getting pretty high on average energy right now, so we need to be prepared to heavy attack. We can throw a special two with pretty much max PMs, so that does heaps of damage. The poison are ticking for you know 3300 a sec, which is decent. We took a little bit of bleed damage, but it wasn't too much. And then we hit him with the striker there just to finish him off. And he goes down in just over a minute. And then next we have this is the fourth time I've taken this Killmonger. Uh, it's a very notorious placement for him. I've taken it twice with Corvus Glaive, who is definitely my most preferred counter. It's the second time I've taken it with Dust, who can work really well, it's just uh it's a bit sketch because uh, the special 2 that she throws does apply passive stun, so she do, you do take quite a bit of damage back from that. And then also all of her sand debuffs do give him quite a bit 
quite big bursts of power. So that's why we are running the invulnerability boost on for this fight. So we don't want to roll out and parry stuns too much when we're, when we're trying to get our prowesses by hitting in the block and also parrying his special twos. So we're trying to get a special two out of him, but unfortunately he didn't want to throw it. So we take a little bit of reverb damage actually, more than I wanted to, uh, because her mediums are, are contact, but her lights are non-contact. So only her mediums trigger reverb. So we do take a, uh, take a special three to the face there. That consumes one of our invulnerability charges. Uh, a dex that special, I really should have been parrying that, unfortunately. Uh, a dex. I'm definitely more comfortable parrying the special two rather than the special one, but I do get some nice parries into the special one that time. But now that we are trapped in the corner, I decided to, to launch my special three here. We've got a decent amount of sand on us now. And of course we've got you know insane boosts on right now. So this will get him just uh, about 40% of the way down. And we throw a special two here once we get some power efficiencies. We can see we're just gonna be taking a lot of damage now that the recoil burst as well as the stun immune the, uh, sorry, the one I open burst, and also whenever we parry stun him here, we're going to take some of that uh, sand sand damage. When uh, when he's in the sandstorm, he does take physical damage over time. So when we parry him, that damage does go onto us for a little bit. So we throw a special two here. Of course, none of it crits because he's got grit resistance, and we take even more damage. You know, we're down forty percent health now. Uh, that's not be that's just bad luck really. <laughs> and the last special two does finish him off. So she does work pretty well. It's just it got a little bit sketch at the end there. Then next we have this massacre. So this is the second time I've taken this massacre, this particular massacre. Probably the third time I've taken a, a hazard shift massacre with dust. Uh, and this guy played around really well. Definitely the cleanest one I've had so far. And the guidance boost definitely helped as well. We didn't really need this guidance boost, uh, but it's just a nice safety net to have. So we're just wait out the first incinerate phase here. The incinerates we don't want to get on us because they do remove sand from the opponent. So we just want to stick to hitting him in the shock phase. And you can see our, even our basic attacks are hitting so much because we're boosted so highly and we've got our recoil masteries on. So we get a special, special one out of him. We're pretty high on prowess now, we're up to seven. We wait out the second incinerate phase here. We do have those evade charges as well if we get uh, really trapped in the corner. Those will consume our uh, prowesses though, unfortunately, if we do get if we do evade. But we, the second shock phase starts here, so we start comboing again. And you see he's, he's already over halfway down. We haven't even thrown any special attacks yet. Uh, we're just hitting so hard with dust. They get one hit there before the incinerate phase starts again, and then we just want to keep parrying until the when the next shock phase starts. That's when we want to start throwing out special three and get into our dust rotation, our sandstorm rotation. So we do a nice reparry there, and just before he throws that heavy attack in the corner, we throw the special three because uh, I can dodge the heavy in the corner, but rather just I have to avoid it completely with a special three. Obviously this consumes no power, so we're going to be pretty much at a special 2 now. And you have to have 8, 9 aggression prowesses, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Alright, so now is our first boss of the season. We're taking a Bullseye, of course, rank 3 Bullseye, of course. And I have soloed a rank 3 Bullseye before. Uh, a boss with Strife, with Horsemen, but we don't have Horsemen. Apocalypse has been banned, and Dust was kind of our best option. I had a horrible start this this in this attempt. Um, you can see I just missed some parry. We consumed all our evade charges. He went indestructible for a bit, and and at this point I was very annoyed because he wasn't throwing a special one. He consumes all of our invulnerability boosts there. We're trapped in the corner. We've got no invulnerability left. We get some nice parries of the special one because I did practice this a lot. I was able to glance. Sorry, I was able to parry the first, second, and last hit of the special one. But then he starts throwing heavies in the corner. The deck, the heavy, the dex timing of the heavy in the corner is really weird. You got like preemptively dex. <laughs> And it's very hard to do in real time like that. So I missed like two or three of them. I got one there, but that was just pure luck, I think. Because I was able to sort of anticipate it by an extra half second, and that's all it needs. So we get parry the special one there, and we're just waiting this out until we can throw a special three. We only have 20, 29 sand on him, which is really not enough. And I think the biggest thing we realized from this is that we just need dust stick ability to do this. So dust stick ability will not only give Dust dust sand, so the opponent sand whenever she gets to a multiple of 10 on her combo, but also whenever she's immune to a bleed effect. So that happens a lot when Bullseye throws a special one. Uh, she's able to ramp up her sand so much better when she's awakened, and so that really made a difference. Unfortunately, I missed a parry there, and we gave up our first death of the season. It was just a really unfortunate <laughs> situation. I practiced so much for this fight. I even changed my masteries. I didn't show you guys the mastery change because it was so long, but I basically took off uh, Stupefy and stuff because I didn't need that. Put all my points into Assassin's, Perfect Block, 
uh, inequity because in, because the sand debuffs will reduce his attack a little bit. But even with the reduced attack, he's still hitting for you know, 13, 1400 into our block each hit, the special one that we're not glancing. Um, obviously, the glancings do help because the parries they, they reduce that damage to about 100. 50 or so, which is really nice, but every time you miss even a medium parry, that's like 5,000 of my health gone. You have to be just so, you have to play so perfectly, uh, and it's very easy to get trapped in the corner like this if you're not hitting him into a block. You see, we missed a parry there, that was 4,000 health back, just gone. So, he decks the heavy there, and uh, and we're getting, we're doing better, obviously, this fight than the last attempt. Definitely doing better. We're, we're higher health so far. You see those glancings there, taking the damage down to 94. And I think we're just waiting this out so we can throw a special three. So I think we might throw it now. Get a bit more sand on him. But you can see, yeah, just one miss parry and it's just so much damage, so much health loss. And I think there, yeah, there I missed the special one and put, uh, missed the parries so that we we lost our invulnerability boost. And so the, the, here I was just really just panicking, I guess, because uh, I didn't want to give up a second death to this guy, but it was it was it was tracking that way. Um, you know, this guy is obviously the hardest boss in the game, especially when, you know, Sunspot, Domino, and Apocalypse are banned. There's really not many good options. I think the best option is probably Professor X, but there, uh, I tried to actually counter his evade with a striker, but I was just too slow. And I, I, I practiced that one a lot as well in the duels, and it worked every time, but of course, when that happens in war, it doesn't work. So, that's definitely a risk that I'm not going to be taking anymore in, in war, is countering that evade with a striker. It's just, it's just not worth the risk. So, uh, spoiler alert: this 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 attempt is 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 the final attempt. So we did we didn't we did, we at least managed to salvage one attack bo bonus from this. But yeah, I just do not do not enjoy fighting dust with bullseye. Sorry, fighting bullseye with dust. Uh, and I just don't fight. I don't enjoy fighting bullseye. In full stop. Uh, we got a few perfect parries there, which was kind of cool. But it's still so much block damage. You can see there we missed a parry. That's ten thousand of our health gone from a double from double from a medium and a light. Ten thousand. 10,000, that's insane, from just two blocked hits. And he didn't even have, have, have that many buffs on him, he only had two or three buffs. Because um, obviously with the overwhelming odds node, each, each buff got to give him 25% attack. Uh, but we are, we are, we were able to ramp up our sand better this time, I'm not sure why, maybe it's just, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know exactly why, but we're up to 63 now. Uh, for the special three, so with our, with our power backs and our recoil masteries, these, these special twos are going to be hitting super hard. We really weren't able to get many special twos off in the previous two attempts because we just died so quickly. But here we throw a special two when we get to, as soon as Killer Instinct goes up, it does, a, does We get a few nice crits and we get back to a special two. Uh, but I just so I don't think how I would have been able to solo this really. Even if I had played really well, it would have been so hard. Just and I would have needed the best crit luck in the world. Uh, but not doomed dust. So we did do get him down eventually. But yeah, two deaths to the season now. Uh, does. Doesn't affect my solo rate um, too much. We're still at 97%, but yeah, definitely want to remain remain uh, above 95% for the rest of the season. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Dead.